Yep. And anytime, if you do feel nervous or you hear a noise and it makes you tense, the first thing you want to do is breathe. And then, of course, if he got faster, pull on him, of course. Yeah. And then I'm just going to talk. So I teach them to go forward from my leg and to stop when I breathe, sit back and take my leg off. So to keep him going in time as he gets used to you, you just want to keep a light touch with your leg. If he wasn't going, you'd want to squeeze your calves in like he's a ball. But if, oh, he's peeing. <laughs> yep. And then if, um, so a squeeze to go and kind of stop riding to stop him. And then you're just following the circle with your eyes and then bending him if he loses his bend. Yep. And then every once in a while just taking a deep breath just so you stay relaxed and if he stops that's okay then you just add leg again yeah if he starts looking out like there pull on your left rein get his attention back on you so when you're riding him you know those people are up in the bushes that will distract him because it's motion but you don't let him you treat him like he's a car and he doesn't get to look around because your car doesn't get to look around <laughs> So if his head starts going up and to the right, you pull left. Yep, that's it. So you just tell him, no, you can't look out the window. You got to pay attention to what we're doing. That way they don't get, you know, spooky because they're focused on you and not the other thing. So he's done it twice. You caught him, but try to do it a little ahead of time so he doesn't even have the chance. Better. Yep. And then each time you're trying to make it better and better so I don't even see his eyes go that direction. But you're doing good. Good job. Yeah. Really good with your eyes. Because when you look where you're going, the horse feels it and then they can tell where they're supposed to go. And anytime he tries to look out of the arena or around, you just correct him. Okay. And then you just keep making the figure eight. Doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. Because I don't know where I traced that other circle. <laughs> walk down there yeah, that's all right. So you keep doing this. I'm just going to explain something. Okay. So it's really important you make good circles. Nobody understands why when they're a trail rider. But if the horse doesn't bend, they don't go around trees well or in and out of gates well, and they take off your kneecaps into the objects. I've had that happen. Oh, uh, yeah. So you're trying to make sure they bend well, and then also it helps you go around S curves on the trail the better they bend. And then they're more balanced because they can carry us better. We don't care if they bend or not when we're not on them, but to carry us, they have to stay balanced to balance our weight. Now we're making the serpentine, so she's bending to the right and then bend it to the left. Yeah. You're doing great. And the poles are like the same thing as logs. Anytime you're climbing over something on the trail, look at it. But once you get up to it and the horse is going over it, you look up. Because if you look down, it drops our weight down on them. Good. So now you'll go back. You're doing great. serpentine the whole way back down there. But it's really helpful. The better you get at this stuff, then it's very easy to have in your toolbox. And if they start doing something or somebody's too slow, you're just like, oh, I'll serpentine. No big deal. Right. Good. And then once you get to the end, we'll turn around and we're going to serpentine all the way back towards my shed. Good job. We're trying the leg yield, which of course is very confusing for everybody in the beginning. And what she's going to do, her hands are going to slightly go towards the fence. Her right leg comes off, her left leg comes on to push them over. Then they take a step over and then they go straight a step. And then they go over a step and straight a step. You're good. Very good. Yep, so just try it. And it feels like a forward walk. 
Now, when he gets by the gate, if it feels like something is changing, we're gonna squeeze and relax on the rain because they always get pacey by the gate. But you did fine. <laughs> so maybe it's me. Yep, now you're good. He started getting a little faster and then he came back. So you're doing good. So the rhythm of your flat walk is kind of like this. And this is his feet hitting the ground. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So in time, I tell people, or you, you can look at my videos, you pick a song, like if you like music, you pick a song and you ride to the song and it'll help you keep the rhythm. But if you're looking at the horse, you're making sure their head shaking up and down. You see their mane moving, which it is. And then you'll feel yourself kind of moving forward and back in the saddle. And then you're just trying to keep that same rhythm around your circle. Or if you're on the trail, you're trying to keep that same rhythm on the trail. Good. Wow, walking right now. so nice at the beach. Yes. But you're doing good keeping the same speed. I'll just videotape so you can see it. Thank you. Yep. And then if your trainer there is out, you know, she'll know what speed for you to go at the flat walk.